Kenny Hill Gardening Simplified. It's May 23rd and we're out here in the garden and let's take a look. It's already 77 degrees this morning and it's not even 8 o'clock. And the humidity is at 91, so you can imagine what it feels like. But anyway, we've been doing a little harvesting. Got a nice little basket of yellow wax beans and some squash. Bunch of cucumbers and a few rhubarb leaves we had to pull off because the wind got to them. But you can see how big these are. And these rhubarb are not even a year old, grown from seed. But we're going to come look down here because we got something that it's about time. I've been waiting. And look what we got here. Our first tomatoes, it's just almost ripe. In fact, we're going to pick five of them off of there and take them in. And we'll probably eat a couple of them. They're ripe enough. They ought to be good. That's Martian giant, which I say that wasn't no giant tomato. But uh, it was the first one as far as that wasn't cherry tomatoes that got ripe. Everything in this garden is like going crazy. Like I said last time, it's kind of a jungle. Our new green beans are doing good in the greenhouse. We've got another batch of cilantro. Our other ones, they just didn't do too well. Look like the centipedes or something come in there. And we've got a, another start of deal because our deal is uh, playing out. We'll go down here, and as you can see, we've harvested a pretty good bit of cucumbers, even though the vines are starting to show signs of wanting to give up. You can see some of them are dying off, some of them are yellowing, but we don't care. Still no signs of blooms on our glow bar to choke. I'm waiting, though. Everything's doing good down here. Our... Uh, Snow-capped beans are growing like crazy. And our little lemon drop melons, they're getting closer. Getting closer. Won't be that long. That little melon ought to be up there ready to eat. But that's, that's what's so great right now. We've got so much stuff coming on. Uh, looking so good. Our poblanos. Uh, we've been harvesting these. Uh, they're decent size for down here in the south. And uh, they're steadily coming on. Of course, once it warms up some, uh, they might slow down and get a little smaller. But all our peppers are doing real well. I've actually seen a, a, a cayenne pepper that was turn, trying to turn red. Let's see. Uh, around over here is another one. So, looks like we'll be har harvesting some cayenne peppers this week. And uh, I see a few more down that row that's turning red. Wait till they start turning red so they've got some heat. Now, these over here uh, are Martian giants too. And these tomatoes are considerably bigger than the other ones. But the they still, I say, if they say that's a giant, uh, I, I think it needs to get a little bigger. Our banana peppers are just loaded up. Now, we've got a whole lot of uh, super sweet 100s here on these plants, but we have no, none of them turning red. So, I'm still waiting. Our squash looking mighty rough. Now, our squash always down here it starts getting mildew and blight. Uh, the humidity. And then uh, with our heat, it kind of works them over. But when you got something like that, you just got to be prepared. And now we've lost a couple of uh, cucumbers, but this is our next batch. We're still... Getting close to a bushel a day off these four rows, but 
we want to be prepared for the next one. So we've got uh, a row here of our uh, one variety, our slicers. And then we've got a row up here of our pickling variety. So, so we're, we're prepared. Now these squash down here are uh, looking a little bit better than the others, but they are having a tough time. Uh, these were actually in their cell trays a little too long, and they are suffering. The the uh, I'm guessing it's vine borer still getting them. The, these zucchinis look a little bit better. Our sunchokes are doing well. Now our leek. Of course, this was put out kind of late, and we are starting to see uh, flower tops come up on here. There was one, but I guess it got snapped off. Or either, no, I think I pulled that up last week. But anyway, uh, won't be long. These are going to all have to be pulled out. Now our new squash, and hopefully it can uh, survive everything. It's coming on right here. So by the time that plays out, this should be starting. Our, our pumpkins are staying a hold. They are getting some bug damage. Uh, we treated these today. Over here with our uh, turmeric, as you can see, we've got real good germination coming on on this. It's just popping up. Looks like almost every one. We still got a lot of ginger that hadn't come out of the ground. Of course, maybe it will, maybe it won't. We'll just have to see. We still haven't harvested or sage. You need to get some of that freeze dried. But we'll come over here to these other tomatoes. And you can see we are getting some ripe ones there. We're starting to get plenty of bell peppers. We never have a giant ones, but we get some pretty good sized ones. And these uh, sun golds here too, uh, they're they're doing great. We've been harvesting them and almost eating them all. Now on our tomatoes, uh, our Cherokee purples, they are getting loaded up with tomatoes. These are nice size. Uh, we might pick a few green tomatoes for the market. I hate to sacrifice tomatoes, but a lot of people like fried green tomatoes. So uh, I, I guess I need to get some up there so they can uh, have them a little taste. The okra is uh, doing good. It's up above three foot now, and it's steadily blooming. Uh, you see, we're setting pods. We'll pick this this morning. Now, this okra up here is doing uh, better than the other. Now, I did lose a few of these uh, pumpkins over here, my Cinderella pumpkins, and my single seed challenge. It's hanging in there. Looks like it's got some cucumber beetles roaming around. We're going to uh, come over here and we'll spray these this morning. In a little greenhouse, we've got our watchdog there taking her nap. But we've got a few potatoes coming up. We cleaned everything out and we took our unconventional. These were our French fingerlings. We're going to try to grow a few. They're not looking terribly great, but they were small potatoes. We'll see how they do. This variety here, I don't remember what they were. I just have to go back to the video and see what I planted in here last year. As we come over here, you can see our Okra is uh, looking good. Our deal is uh, playing out. Uh, we we have been harvesting the flower heads for the market. That's what this time of year people want. Uh, the flower heads for their deal pickles when they make them. Now our 
Tobacco is doing good. It's uh, having a little problems with the wind. As you can see, we've got some laying over here. Uh, same thing here. But it's not wanting to deter it. If it breaks it off, we'll do something with it. But it just turns its direction and starts growing up. So uh, hopefully it'll be all right. It uh, won't be too long and... Uh, We'll probably do a little harvesting on some of this. Uh, this is our next batch of zucchini in here. And it's doing good. It ought to come on about the time the other plays out. Everything down here is doing super good. The roselle and, and the uh, cow horns have been getting ripe. Uh, we can see that... Uh, they're starting to turn red, and we've been harvesting some. Once they start turning red, the, even the green ones have pretty good heat, so we start uh, taking care of them. Now, we've got empty bed here. We ended up taking out our uh, spinach that was here. It, the tips of the leaves weren't looking good. It wasn't liking it. Uh, same thing as our beets are pretty much their... Uh, playing out so we'll end up harvesting what we can and we'll compost the rest or uh, give them to the chickens Our radishes that's in here. They always seem to grow more leaf top now They are starting to put on a little bit of thickness on the radish so We might get lucky and get enough to pick a bundle of that or we might just eat us some I need to take care of getting my uh, fig trees in the ground. These last ones, uh, they're getting so tall. Now we did uh, cut the pups off this banana, and then two more decided to come back. But we got them in pots, and hopefully they'll take root and then take off. And we've got all kinds of uh, starts here for our next uh, groups. We need to get these watermelons down there in the watermelon patch. We've got one little six pack here of, of pumpkins we're going to put with these others. And then this is our next batch of yellow squash. So uh, we're trying to keep up on it and keep things going. But anyway, as you can see, everything's looking fantastic. Uh, I'm really enjoying it, but it's been working us to death with digging potatoes and and preparing stuff my wife's been canning uh you know there's no sense in having it if you don't preserve it but anyway i hope you enjoyed this short tour and of course uh, as always if you want to see more videos like this hit that subscribe hit the bell and select all i give it a big thumbs up and share this video enjoy that gardening experience